You've probably heard the name Penny Alexiak. I mean, she's the most decorated Canadian Olympian ever. No big deal, right? Well, I'm about to hop into studio with her to do a vibe check. Let's go. She's got a silver. She's got two bronze. It'll be a bronze medal, her seventh medal at the Olympics. I'm going to have some fun before we get into the more serious questions. Finish the sentence. If I wasn't a swimmer, I would be a... Probably a lazy person. <laughs> I feel like I can't do any other sport. Just, we're set on swimming. Exactly. Do you have any hidden talents? Oh my gosh, I thought about this the other day. And I can't even remember, I don't know. Because <laughs> it's hidden it's from hidden. me too. <laughs> so your Insta handle is typical Penny, but many kids think you're pretty amazing and not so typical. So what's something typical kids should know about you? Honestly, everything. <laughs> I feel like I'm, my day to day is pretty normal. I do the same thing as everyone else and then I like swim on the side. <laughs> swim on the side. <laughs> You are the Canada's most decorated Olympian with seven medals, so what keeps you motivated? Just the fact that I haven't accomplished goals that I really did have set out when I was younger. I think for me when I was younger it was just like I really wanted a world record and I've never had a world record and I really want one so I think I, that's something I'm always working towards. What was it like dealing with the pressure of competing in the Olympics and being that successful at only 16? I mean, I'm 17 mm -hmm. now and I cannot imagine competing on a stage like that and dealing with that type of pressure. After 2016, you have a lot thrown at you and with media and with sponsorships and just pe different people's opinions. So it can definitely build up and become a lot and very stressful and so I had to um, the last few years I just took a lot of time to focus on my mental health and find help where I needed it or just find that support where I needed it and I think that is really really important. <laughs> so would you rather swim in a pool or swim in a lake? Pool, 100%. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not a big lake person or cottage person? I'm terrified of open water. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you're a swimmer and you're terrified of open water. Yeah. <laughs> People always find that weird. <laughs> Would you rather watch your brother's NHL hockey game or your pal's Bianca Adrescu's tennis match? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, I've seen enough of my brother. I feel like I'm going to watch Bianca. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner out at a fancy restaurant or takeout on your couch? Definitely takeout. <laughs> I can't go out. I, it's too much work. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather watch your favorite TV show or scroll through social media? Uh, I usually put on my show and then I'll scroll through <laughs> social media. Both at the same exactly. time. <laughs> I've accomplished this history with girls that are also making history. This is only the beginning for Team Canada in swimming. 2024, 2028, we're on the come up and I love that. 